Like a great shepherd, our Jesus is there, watching out for those who are lost and in need of a Savior. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we find that when we search the Old Testament scriptures, God's true nature is revealed. For example, in Ezekiel 34, 11 through 16, we see how God is a very hands-on person with, the, with his people Israel. He compares himself to a shepherd and his people like lost sheep he has come to rescue. He says in verse 11, I myself will seek for my sheep. Verse 12, I will rescue them and bring them in, into, verse 13, their own land where I can feed them. Verse 14, with good pasture. Then verse 15, they can lay down in peace. Verse 16, I will bandage their hurts, I will strengthen the weak and sick, and I will also deal out judgment and punishment for those who are hard-hearted and perverse. Verse 23, he promises to give them a good shepherd, referring to both David and Jesus. Verse 24, and I, the Lord, will be their God. And verse 26, I will bless them. Verse 27, the trees of the field shall yield its fruit. My people will be secure and confident when they set, see me set them free from slavery. Verse 30, they shall know that I, the Lord, God, am with them because they are my people. Verse 31, my sheep. Luke 19.10, Jesus speaking, The Son of Man has come to seek and save that which is lost. Psalm 107.11, The lost are those who rebelled against God's words, ignoring his counsel. Verse 13, When they later cried for help, he saved them from, their, from the darkness of sin. Verse 20, God sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from death's door. Verse 43, Those who are wise will see how God's hands-on approach is proof of his faithful love. Proverbs 14.22 advises, If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness from our God. We become scattered, according to Jeremiah 10.21, when our shepherds lose their senses and they no longer seek wisdom from the Lord. And Ezekiel 34.8, when our shepherds are selfish, taking care of themselves, leaving the sheep to starve. 1 Thessalonians 1.4, we now know that God loves us and has chosen us to be his own people. Words of encouragement, God is a very hands-on God. He will stop at nothing to set us free from sin and rescue us from eternal death. We just need to obey his commands and trust he wants the best for us. Have a great day.